Design Bundles plus Membership. I'm gonna answer all of the questions that you may have and help you decide if this is something that you want to invest into, whether you guys are using it for personal use or if you guys are starting a small business, you even already own a small business and you wanna add some really amazing designs and products to that. So let's go ahead and dive right in. We have three different tiers for you. We have the bronze, the silver, and our gold plus membership. Our bronze membership is $7.99. Our silver membership is $11.99 and our gold plus membership is $18.99. Depending on what promotion we have going on, you may be able to sign up as little as a dollar for an entire month so you can test it out and see if it's something that's right for you. Currently, we have over 216,000 fonts and designs for you to use. So what's really amazing is depending on the tier that you sign up for, you're going to get what's called plus credits. For example, if you're a gold plus member, you're going to get 50 plus credits every single month. You can continue to save those. They're not going to expire. You're not going to lose them unless you cancel your membership, but you can save them as long as you would like and use them whenever. So say for example, sometimes I like to save mine up for the holidays. And so that way I can purchase a ton of designs. So you can go through here and it's so, so easy, which I'm going to show you guys here in a bit. You don't have to take them to the cart and check out. You're simply just going to go ahead and click that one click download. It is so, so easy. And you guys are just going to absolutely love it. Now, what's exciting about this membership for somebody that has a small business or a business in general, these designs are going to be more exclusive than what's on the marketplace. So only our plus members have access to these and you do have a commercial use license so you can make those finished products and sell them. So going through here, as you can see, we've already talked about the instant access. It is so easy to say, I want to purchase this with one plus credit and download. Now you can come back and re-download that as many times as you need to. You can also find that in your plus member download history if you need to find it again. Included with all of our plus memberships is the dollar deal after party. So what does this mean? Every single month we host an entire um, dollar deal where you can grab big, big bundles for $1. It is our biggest event at every single month at the end of the month, but you only have one hour to shop this event. Whereas if you are a plus member, doesn't matter which tier, you guys have an entire 24 hours to shop that uh, dollar event and decide which ones you wanna purchase extra freebies. So on top of your plus membership, you're going to include extra freebies that you don't have to use your plus credits for added to your account every single month. You can get extra bonus points and rewards for completing some extra tasks. For example, maybe sharing it over on Facebook and things like that. You can get extra plus credits added to your account so you can shop for even more designs. Depending on what tier you're signing up for, you can save up to 15% off of all of your purchases. This includes our bundles and our dollar event. So for our bronze and our silver, you're gonna save 10% off, where our gold plus membership, you're gonna save 15% off. So ultimately, your membership will pay for itself as much money as you're going to save. For example, if you're shopping the marketplace over on designbundles.net, you're gonna get 15% off of everything on the site. Once again, including our bundles, including our dollar event. So for example, if you're gonna get those bundles for $1 during the event, if you're a gold plus member, you're gonna get them for 85 cents. One question I wanna go ahead and clear out right away is a question about our bundles. Can you still purchase those without being a plus member? And the answer is yes. So for our bundles that we have, and they're exclusive, they're time limited, you guys can purchase those without the plus membership. But for example, if you are a plus member, you're gonna save 15% off of that bundle. So let me go ahead and jump into our plus membership and give you guys a little sneak peek of what's included and how it works. So jumping over to our plus membership, membership. This is currently the front page. Depending on what products are currently added, you're going to see those, maybe not these here. But you can scroll through here and see currently it is Christmas stuff going on. So we have all of these amazing designs that you're not going to see out in the marketplace. And as you can see, they are zero plus credit. So there's even some freebies going on here. So always keep an eye out for that as well. So you can see what you're normally going to see here is one plus credit. So let's go ahead and dive in here. So you can see that I 
I can get this t-shirt right here for free, right? So this is a free design right now. I don't even have to use any of my plus credits, but I get it for free because I'm a plus member. All you're simply gonna do is get now for free, confirm, download now, download now, and it is adding it to my computer that easy. So as you can see, that was just one of the freebies that you're going to get if you are a plus member. So for example, on any other day, say they're one plus credit, all you simply have to do is click on it, click buy now for one plus credit, confirm, download now, download now, it's going to send it straight to your computer. Now you don't have to click all the way through the design and go straight to it. You can actually do it from this page. For example, say I'm scrolling through and I want this one here. I'm just going to click add to account. Confirm, download now, download now again, and they're going to send it straight over to the computer. Now, as you can see here, just kind of quickly scrolling through, you can see there is so much good stuff. I really love this one right here. Those colors are popping, but we have so much in here. Not only just t-shirts, you have sublimation, you have SVGs, all of the things. Now you can really narrow those down by coming over here on the left-hand side. So say for example, if you're a crafter, you can see there is over 109,000 files here, click the arrow over, and then you can narrow it even further. So I can go to SVGs, I can go to sublimation and all of those things. So let's go to SVG files. We have 61,000, over 61,000. I could go ahead and narrow that to my SVGs and then scroll through here and see what I like. So for example, love this sign. I'm gonna click add to account, confirm and download now. Now, just like the marketplace, you can also come in here and search. So say for example, I am looking for something that is Santa. I'm gonna click Santa and it's gonna bring up all sorts of different designs that have Santa included. Now coming back over to the left hand side, you're gonna see where it says font categories and you can go from regular script and all of those things. You can click that arrow over to really bring it from calligraphy, handwritten and all of that. And then you can once again, see all of those fonts that are also going to be included with that plus membership. Moving right along here, you can see this button right here that says bonuses. So if you click here, this is where you're gonna be able to earn those extra plus credits. For example, buy your first marketplace product and you're gonna get two credits. You can see anniversary, you're going to get 25 credits. So every single year, you're going to get 25 credits on top of that. You can see by simply adding your first community post, you're going to earn five credits just like that. That is five free designs. Now moving right along, you can see my purchases. So this is all of my plus purchases, which you can also access right up here on the top. You can click plus purchases right here as well. Now moving right along into those freebies I was telling you about, you can see that I have 35 of them right here. We're gonna click on that and I can scroll through here and see what freebies have been added. So just kind of going through here, I can see this really fun font. I'm just gonna click download now. It's gonna let me choose which version do I want. I can come back and download them all if I want. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the TTF, download it and we're good to go. Now, if you guys are a Gold Plus member, you guys are gonna notice this tab here that says Designscape. So if you click on that here, this page is gonna give you some information here of how Designscape works. And then you're just gonna click go to Designscape. And this is a free design software that you can use to create SVGs. Maybe you want to work with those. It's similar to something like Inkscape or Canva, something that you're gonna be able to come in here and design your own stuff, combine things together, or even edit. Say for example, I have a black design that's just says Merry Christmas or it's all red and I want to come in here and change it to multiple colors, I can do that with Designscape. And as you can see, we have a few more things like a file converter where I can convert things from a PNG to an SVG, vice versa. And then we also have something that's called Pixscape as well. So let's make some stuff. So I'm going to show you guys, if you were a small business owner, say for example, for t-shirts, I'm gonna show you guys several things that you can do besides making a t-shirt, but these designs you're gonna be able to use for your business because like I said, they do have a commercial license as well as a POD. So I do get questions all the time of what a POD is and that is print on demand. So say for example, I have a t-shirt business, but I don't wanna make the t-shirts. I'm going to send my file over to a company that does print on demand where they're the ones manufacturing the t-shirts for me, sending them back to me and I'm selling them. So that is what a POD is as well. So let's go ahead and start off with the very first one. We're going to make a t-shirt. So we're going to make this one here that says never laugh at your wife's choice because you're one of them. So we're going to use this one right here and I'm actually going to switch it up. So I'm going to do it on a black t-shirt with white 
HTV. Once you have simply used that one click download, all you're gonna do is open up your favorite die cutting software, whether you're using a Cricut, Silhouette, or whatever machine you may have. You're simply gonna come to upload, and then you're gonna upload that design. So I've already brought this one in here. I've already sized it out. As you can see, it's one file. It's super duper easy to use. And so I've already sized it. We're ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and hit make it. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that we're cutting on the mat. We're gonna hit confirm. And then we are gonna go ahead and mirror this because we are using HTV. Now I'm just using Caesar Easy Weed. It's one of my favorites. I'm gonna load it down here on my blue mat. It's one of my favorite mats to use. So we're gonna load it with the glossy side down as usual and we're gonna get ready to load it. So we're gonna go ahead and hit continue, let it load our machine and so we can choose our material. For our material, I'm gonna choose everyday iron on and then we're just gonna go ahead and load it. So we're gonna load it under those white feet let it go ahead and do its thing and we're going to hit go all right so we're going to go ahead and hit that go button and we're going to let it cut out so while this is cutting out we're going to go ahead and prep up our t-shirt all right so that one's done we're going to go ahead and unload it and then we're going to peel this off the mat and get ready to weed it so i'm going to go ahead and swap this out for the heat press and i'll be right back all right so i'm going to be using my cricut 10 by 12 today and so as you can see for a small business owner personal use you can get away with using your cricut easy press to make your t-shirts i have it is tight and true is that say it i've tested it out and i promise you they're gonna last just as long as if you use a big heat press all right so let's go ahead and weed this thing out so we're gonna go ahead and just simply start weeding here so i'm gonna speed this up just a little bit all right so we have it all weeded out we're ready to go to find that center you're just gonna hold it in half you're going to pinch and then we're gonna come down around three to four fingers or so that looks good to me happy with it so now we're going to go ahead and press it so we're just going to go right on top and press i have my cricut easy press 320 for 30 seconds all right so we're going to go ahead and lift this up now cricut does recommend that you flip this over and you press for another 15 seconds now you see my temp was 320 for 30 seconds but if i did use a bigger heat press i could go around 310 312 for around 10 seconds so you do have some less temp and less time with a heat press all right so we're going to go ahead and peel so this is a warm peel make sure that whatever brand you're using you pay attention of whether it is a warm or a cold pill. All right, so let's go ahead and flip it over and press for another 15 seconds. All right, just like that. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and just press for 15 seconds. I have my timer still at uh, 30 seconds, so I'll stop it just inside. All right, there we have it. And just like that, I've made a t-shirt that either A, I made for myself, maybe I'm going to give this as a gift, or I'm going to sell it locally or online. Now also because I have a plus membership. This came from the plus membership. It's going to be a little bit more exclusive. So when I go to list this on my website or sell it in my shop, you're going to have a less chance of everybody having it. Now that we've made our t-shirt and say, for example, we are selling this, you may want to consider downloading the t-shirt care instructions. We have several to choose from, but I like the very boho vibes and I feel like this just goes with it. So I'm going to download this one right here. So once again, just simply hit download, take it to your computer so let's go ahead and head on over to Cricut Design Space. Now that we're over in Cricut Design Space here is our file. There's a few things that you can actually do. You could simply take this straight to your printer but tell it to print it x amount of times to add it on one sheet and print it right away. You could take it over to Canva for example and you could add multiple there so that way it's on one sheet or you could bring it into a software like Cricut Design Space, Silhouette Studio so you can do a print and cut. Now for me I'm going to go ahead and do these around three inches so depending on how big you want these to be if you want them to be a five by seven make them a five by seven i'm just going to do, simply do them three inches high so let's go ahead and start there if your file is unlocked just simply lock it that's something that cricut does do whenever you bring an uploaded file and so we're going to go ahead and change our height to that three inches hit enter and there we have it now with the print and cut we can only do a 6.75 by 9.25 so what i'm going to do right away is we're going to go over here to shapes i'm going to bring in a square bring it right over here so we can see i'm going to unlock this square and then we're going to simply do a 6.75 wide 
by 9.25 and then we're going to hit enter and we're going to lock it back so what we're going to do is i'm going to leave this block so that way i can see where i'm going we're going to arrange this one and we're going to send it to the front so then we can line it up here so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this so that way i can get as many as i can on here so i'm going to go ahead and select both of these we're going to hit duplicate again just to make it a little bit faster. Same thing, if it was more and more and more, I, that was, I could fit, I could actually duplicate all four, but I can't. So I think I could possibly, and I could even bring these up as much, I'm gonna see if I can't get one more by really squeezing these in. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one down here and I'm just gonna scooch everything up. So I think we can go ahead and move these guys up just a little bit here, here, and here. There we have it, which I'm gonna show you guys a trick here in just a second. We need to just basically get it right about there. All right, so we've got it on our 6.75. Now what we wanna do is we want to go ahead and delete that square, and then we're gonna go ahead and click make it. So as you can see, we have that box border around, so we have that print and cut perfect. Now if you want to, here's a little tip. If I wanna spread these out a little bit further, once you get to your mat, all you simply have to do is grab one, scoot it over to the right, scoot it over to the right, scoot it over. So you guys can see that you can actually make your print and cut page bigger once you guys are on the map. All right, so let's go ahead and hit continue. Let's get ready to print it. Now I'm just using an inkjet printer. You wanna find something that's gonna work best for you. For me, I have found an HP printer as well as a Canva. I'll have both of those linked down below. This Canon right here, you can actually even snag from Walmart. I think it's $49, that's where I got mine from. So you don't need something super big and fancy. Usually around the holidays too, you can grab printers pretty cheap. So let's go ahead and load our card stock. So we're gonna do that now. And I'll also have the cardstock I'm using linked down below as well. So we're gonna go ahead and choose send to printer. I'm gonna choose the printer that I'm using and then I'm gonna turn the bleed line off. We're gonna go ahead and hit print. Now while this is printing out, we can go ahead and go to browse all material. I'm actually gonna use a medium cardstock. As you can see, it is sending it through the printer for us and then we're going to load it on our mat. Now, something that's really cool as well, if you guys have a laser um, printer, so this is an inkjet, if you have a laser printer, you could actually run this through your foil machine. So if you guys have one of those foil machines where you can put foil and then you can foil these to make them look even cooler. All right, so we have this printed out and it is ready to go. So we're just gonna go ahead and load it on the mat. You wanna load it in the direction that you can see. All the time I'm wanting to turn this guy in the wrong direction, make sure you're doing it the same way. And then it's all the way in that corner and then just rub everything down. Make sure you're using your blue mat. That's what's best for paper and card stuff. So we're gonna load this in here. And then we've already set our settings. So once this goes through, we're gonna go ahead and hit go. All right, so we're gonna hit that go button and it's gonna quickly cut all of these out for us. So what's amazing about these ones, they have the rounded corners. We're gonna be able to just have this machine cut them out. Now, what's also amazing is you don't have to have a die cutting machine for something like this. You can definitely hand cut these. So I always call it fussy cut. Just take your scissors and cut all the way around. But if, say for example that you're gonna take this design and you're going to sell these already pre-cut for somebody, you can use your Cricut to cut them a whole lot faster or whatever die cutting machine that you may have. All right, and it was that easy. So that just took the um, the time out for us. If you guys have ever seen sometimes people that have sticker um, businesses or businesses like this, they have multiple Cricuts on shelves um, and it just goes by so fast for them. So like I said, think outside of the box. Maybe your small business is going to be selling business cards or small little cards like this. All right, so I simply peeled that off. So to remove these without curling, you're gonna flip your mat over and you're going to peel these off the mat. So it's kind of like curling the mat there. You can see that and they just easily pop off and they won't curl up. So if I had a small business and I was using these for my products, I would take a day where I just really, or a few hours if you will, and just cut a ton of these out. And then I would, you know, just put them away. So that way, whenever I make a t-shirt, I already have them ready to go. So as you guys can see, look at how stinking cute those are. They're perfectly cut out for us and they are ready to go to be included with our t-shirt. For our very next one is going 
going to be stickers. Now, thinking outside of stickers, it's not just stickers for planners, or you could definitely make stickers. So say for example, we've got super cute ones, maybe it's a plant like a little cactus or a cute little squirrel, and you want to die cut those out. So instead of them being a kiss cut where they would peel off the sticker sheet, they're gonna cut all the way through. So that way you can include those in your package as an extra gift. People can stick them on their laptops and all of those things. So you can include those in your purchase. Whenever you get a little thing like that inside of your package, it just makes you a little bit more happy about that business to show the small details. So outside of, like I said, planner stickers that you guys can do and all of those things, you may wanna print out some of these stickers to include on your packaging. So this is another fun one here that says, please hide from husband, um, relax, she wanted. So these will be great to put on the outside of the packaging just to make it so much more fun. So once again, super easy. You're gonna download this. It's gonna take it straight to your computer. This time, we're gonna take this one to Canva. So starting off over here in Canva, I like to get all of my stickers together and sized out on a sheet and then download it from there. Now you can definitely do this inside of Cricut Design Space just as I showed you with that 6.75, 9.25 square and then get rid of it. Um, you could definitely design them on there as well. So what I like to do is bring in a blank canvas and as you can see, I've just brought them in here, sized them out however I want to. I like how you get the little lines here to kind to really help you line these things up. So you're gonna make it look as good as possible, however you want these to be. And then it's as simple as going to share, you're going to download. And for me, what I'm gonna go ahead and choose if you're using Canva is I'm gonna choose a transparent background so it could cut all the way around these. So we're gonna go ahead and download and take it into Cricut Design Space. All right, so now that I've downloaded that, I'm gonna to come to uploads and then I'm gonna to go to upload. Once you get to uploads, you're going to drag and drop or go to browse. Here's mine right here. You can see that transparent background. I always choose complex. I don't know why, just to say, I just go to complex. It's, I always have. And and so from here, if I needed to remove anything, I could, which I don't, um, but you can see that I have that transparent background. We're gonna hit apply and continue. We're gonna hit print and cut, and then we're going to upload it. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this uploaded design over to our canvas so we can get ready to cut it out. So what we're gonna do here is you can see that we're getting that warning that's telling us it's too big. So if we click on that warning, this is where you're gonna find your size information. So from here it says 6.75 by 9.25. So we're gonna do that now. So we'll find our, um, our numbers here. So our width, I'll do 6.75 and there we go. We've got that 9.25 and I actually need to bring that down just a smidge, there we go. So everything is absolutely perfect. So now all we simply have to do is hit make it. We're gonna do the exact same thing, but this time we're using sticker paper. So we're gonna hit continue. We're going to send to printer. We're gonna choose our Canon. No bleed line, like I said, always turn that off with your printing cuts. And so let me grab my sticker paper. All right, so I've got my sticker paper here and what I actually use is label paper because you can get 500 sheets, I think for 20 or 30 bucks on Amazon and I've had them forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and load this in here and then we're gonna go ahead and hit print. And there you guys have it. So here is our sticker sheet ready to be cut out here. Now, once again, if you use a laser machine, you can run this through your foil machine and um, you could foil these and they would be so much more fun. So we're gonna go ahead and line this up here. So now that we have this down, now you can simply send this straight into your Cricut so that way it can cut around these and just keep them like this. I'm gonna show you to spruce them up just a little bit. To spruce these up a little bit, I'm gonna make them look like they are glitter. To do so, we are going to be using this glitter laminate that I've got from 143. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. Now there is printable um, iridescent papers as well as glitter and all of that stuff. So you could just automatically print on those and use them as well. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to measure the inside of this. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and measure that. So we're gonna do seven. We wanna make sure we do not get on the line. So I'm just gonna go ahead just to be safe and maybe do like 7.10. Um, by, let's see here, we'll do by nine and a half. We're gonna take our handy dandy paper trimmer here and then we are gonna go ahead and start with that seven. I'm just gonna go ahead and do like seven, almost seven and a quarter. We're going to cut it. Then we're gonna go ahead and take that and we're gonna do 9.5. So we're gonna do 9.5. 
and here we go. So like I said, when you trim these down, you just wanna make sure they're gonna go inside of that black border. You don't want them on there or it's hard for the Cricut to read it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to just start this. What I like to do is just get my top part going. So something about like that, all right. And then we're going to take this and we're just gonna start right up here at the top, staying right inside of that border. I'm going to rub that down and I'm gonna do a pull and push. So I'm gonna pull and push at the same time just to keep everything nice and smooth. Next up, I like to take a squeegee here and just go on the inside there to make sure everything is held down. For this one, once you add another layer on here, you wanna be mindful of that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose medium cardstock so it'll cut all the way through for me. So we're just gonna go ahead and load it. So we're just gonna get it on here and click the load button. Now, if I was just doing this with my sticker paper and I wanted to do a kiss cut, I would choose the sticky note settings. Now for these, for example, these are gonna be on the outside of my packaging. I may not want to make those all sparkly, but maybe the ones that are gonna go in the inside, the cute little characters um, that you may decide to do, like I said, like a cactus or maybe a little animal, you may wanna sparkle those up as your gift that you're gonna include inside. So once your Cricut goes through and reads those lines, your Cricut is ready to cut these out and it's just gonna cut all the way around these. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and remove it. So as you guys can see, some of these have already just popped out for us. So I need to bring up my pressure a little bit more for this one. So you just have to kind of play around with those sometimes. So it's just easy to just kind of pop those out still just like so. So you can see how pretty and sparkly those are. So think about those stickers that you're gonna include into your package and making those really sparkly and fun. So like I said, definitely check that out. But I love making stickers. So not only for personal use, but you can sell sticker sheets and die cut stickers because they are a finished product. One more note about adding a laminate sheet to your sticker paper is that it's going to be waterproof. So if you're going to be sticking these on your water bottles or maybe even on your packaging, they're gonna hold up through some rain and stuff like that. So that is one thing to consider. There is clear laminate if you just want a clear laminate on top of these to make them a little bit more waterproof. For our last design, I'm gonna be showing you guys these thank you cards. Now, the difference with these thank you cards, these are going to take you straight over to Canva. So once you hit download, you're gonna have a link that will take you straight over to Canva so you could go in and edit to add your own information, which I'm gonna show you guys in just a minute. So as you guys can see, we cover all of your digital design needs. Whether you guys are into sublimation, making t-shirts, you need to make business cards, thank you cards, your stickers, we have everything you could possibly imagine. So once you get over to Canva, you're gonna see something like this. So for example, this one's giving us several different options and colors. And so you can see you have your, your basics, you have an example of what to put here. And then once you decide which color you're gonna use, you're just gonna go in and edit those. So as you can see, I went in here, I put design bundles um, for my thank you. I just put thank you for supporting our small business. We hope you enjoy your goodies. So put whatever to personalize that. Um, if you were gonna make these individual for each person, you could say, thank you, Sarah. But honestly, I would just print a ton of these and have them ready to go. So as you can see, you can put your handle on here, put at design bundles um, and all of those things. So like I said, you're gonna get a template here and to change those, you're simply just gonna click on it like so. You're going to delete. You can just hold it down or select everything and then type out your name just like that. It is so, so easy. Same thing. If I wanted to change this, I would just come in here, highlight everything and say, thank you so much for your purchase. just like that and fill in whatever you'd like. Same thing, filling in all of those. Now, let's say that we were ready to download this. I'm gonna go ahead and choose my top one here. We're gonna hit share, and then we're gonna click on the download button, and then I'm gonna choose which page. So I'm gonna unselect all of these and just select that first one. We're gonna hit done and then download. So that way I can download whichever one I want. So once again, this is another one of those files you don't have to have a die cutting machine for. You just simply need a printer. So you don't have to be in to your Cricut or Silhouette or Sublimation to enjoy our designs. You could simply own an inkjet printer and have a small business or have them for your personal needs. So say for example, we're ready to print. We're gonna go up to File, 
and then we're gonna hit print. We're gonna choose the printer. Once again, I'm using my Canon. If you come down here where it says copies per page, I'm gonna go ahead and tell it that we want two, and you're gonna notice that now we have two here. I'll be able to cut in between there in just a second, so we're gonna go ahead and hit print. All right, so here we go. As you can see, just use my printer. Now, if you wanted to take this inside of Cricut Design Space, you definitely could, but this is a straight line cut. It would just be so much faster for me to use my paper trimmer. Now, when it comes to paper trimmers, I'm just using this Cricut one here, but you may want to invest into the ones that have that slice. So where you pick it up and you slice because you could do a stack of these at the same time. All right, so what I'm gonna do, once again, I wanna show you sprucing these up. You don't have to, you could keep them like this, but I'm gonna show you guys adding that laminate on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure these once again. So I know my paper's 11, it's eight and a half by 11, but I don't wanna waste a ton of this. So I'm gonna do something about a seven and a half. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this down again. Now for this one, this is a chunkier glitter laminate. This is just gonna be another way to spruce these up. All right, same thing. We're gonna go ahead and get our top piece started. Just what makes it so much easier. Now this is where you could use your parchment paper hat to line these up perfectly. But what I'm gonna do is very carefully go on top, just like that. And we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and do a push and pull so I can slowly get this thing down. There we have it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just rub, rub, rub this down. Now we're ready to trim these down. So I'm just gonna load this guy up here. All right, nice and straight. And we're just gonna trim it all the way around. So now we're left with this. We're just gonna go ahead and get right in the center. And we're just gonna trim it right in half. So there we have it. We have two sparkly thank you cards. So hopefully you guys can see that sparkle. So you guys see the difference between these ones. These are a much chunkier um, sparkle, as you guys can see. So there's two different ones to choose from. So here's that smaller one. Hope you can see, see the smaller ones, but I really love the chunky ones and it just makes them so nice. So this is just glitter laminate. Once again, you can add a, um, just a clear laminate. And if you wanted to with the laminate sheets, once you add that sparkle, you could throw it in a laminate sheet just to make it the other side. Because if I wanted to create something and do a double card, you could do that too. I honestly think that this is good enough. Now, another thing that I recommend to do to the back is just to say thank you. So say for example, as people order, you're gonna make a ton of these, set them aside for your orders. I'm gonna go ahead and say, thank you, Sarah. Hope you have a great day or enjoy your purchase or something like that, just to personalize it a little bit further. All right, so let's go ahead and put together our packaging. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take some of this tissue paper here. I like to take two, so I take a leopard print and then a coral, so if you had like a pattern, if not, just use a single color. There's a few different ways that I like to do this. For example, just folding it like this and then adding one of those stickers here. So I'm gonna take that shop small and then just like that, this packaging is ready. So then what I like to do is take my t-shirt care instructions. So maybe you're going to insert that inside here. I'm gonna go ahead and take that thank you card and we're just gonna go ahead and slide it right inside of there. Now, all you simply have to do is put this into a poly mailer and then on the outside of that poly mailer, you can put relax if she won this just to make that packaging so much more fun. So once again, if I was to die cut some stickers too, I may include that in the packaging. I may include that just right here, include a really fun sticker as well. So as you guys can see, we have so many different things to offer. Whether you guys are into planners and you guys wanna have a digital planner or you guys wanna have some planner stickers or maybe even print your own planner, we have things like that. We have SVGs to make your own t-shirts, coffee mugs, signs. We have sublimation files to just start your own businesses. We have all sorts of different things from creating websites. We have fonts that you can use. We we have templates, business cards, you name it. Definitely make sure you guys check it out. One last thing that I wanna show you guys and possibly blow your mind. If you guys are into photography, we even have Lightroom presets right inside of our Plus membership. Not only can you purchase them on our marketplace, you can get them with one plus credit. I know it is crazy. So if you guys are into the Lightroom presets, if you guys are getting into photography, so these would be perfect for your photography business, or if you're wanting to start one, these would also be, say for example, I was taking um, pictures of my products and I wanna step my game up and have my own look. These presets are going to be perfect. And as you can see, they are gorgeous and they are one plus credit. They are so, so easy to use. And I had to point that out today just to show you guys 
we do absolutely cover all of your digital design needs. And there you guys have it. That is the inside scoop inside of our Plus membership. Maybe you guys are considering gifting this during the holiday season, or maybe you guys are planning on purchasing a Plus membership because you're going to get yourself a Cricut or a Silhouette, or maybe you're gonna get in the printing business this holiday season. Whether you guys are selling it or making it for your personal needs, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys are gonna check it out. If you guys are already a Plus member, or if you guys are going to become a Plus member, drop those comments down below. We would love to hear your testimonials about our membership and you can share those with others. What is your favorite thing about our Plus membership? And if you're not a Plus member, what was the favorite thing that I talked about or maybe showed today? And also if you have any questions at all, let us know in the comments below and we'll be down there to answer those for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you guys on the next one.